too busy for my wife. What about for your father? Oh, please tell me you're not here on another peacemaking Liam, mission. Liam, he apologized. He admitted he was wrong. He really does want to make things right. Yeah, all I have to do is pretend he's not a criminal. All you have to do is just delete the recording. He'll meet you halfway. But you gotta stop with the blackmail. Sleeping Beauty returns. Here I thought you were gonna stay up all night with me and help fix this. Well, hello. Do I look as fresh as a daisy while you were dozing on whoa, the couch? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I don't doze. I'm not a dozer. I was snooping around Liam's office. Uh, whose office? It's my office. Your office. I found this. Get out of here. My man. <laughs> Oh, let's pop this baby in and see what we got. Hopefully something other than, uh, you know, goofy poems. <laughs> well, I've already checked. Liam isn't backing up his cheesy poems. That is a copy of your little conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Start, baby. It's a start. All right. I'm wiping out all traces of this. We're going to do this, Justin. And we're going to do it today. Deleting that recording would be the stupidest thing I could do. I would lose all my leverage. My dad committed a crime. Can you please stop talking about him like he's the victim and stop siding with him over I'm me? I'm not. I'm, I'm siding with our family. I don't want to see the Spencers torn apart. Babe, the sooner you and your father can just get through this and start working together, the better. You know, he considers me an enemy now. I mean, he threatens me, he talks to me in the same vindictive tone he uses for Sally, and he had her building set on fire. I mean, it makes you wonder what he would do to me if he had the chance. He's out to get me. That means I have to keep that recording. Any word from Ken? Nothing. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. He did fill me in on all of his favorite flavors of tea. Excuse me, gentlemen. Sorry to interrupt, but-, but Really? Uh... More tea? Well, I did appreciate the lemon. Well, there's not gonna be any more lemon. There's not gonna be any honey. There's not gonna be any milk. There will be nothing until you give me what I hired you for. I'm done. What do you mean, done? Done. It wasn't easy. That kid of yours, he's a bit of a computer nerd, huh? I can say that again. Knows his stuff, but yeah, it's gone. I wiped his digital files, his emails. Uh, cell phone. All audio files have been erased from his phone and any other devices. The only thing you have to worry about would be any physical backups he might have offline. You mean, uh, something like this? Justin, uh, happened upon this little yeah. baby at the office. Well, then I'd say you're all set. Are you certain? Yes! What are you, my mother? <laughs> okay, you're right. So it looks like it's your word against Liam's now. Yeah, well, his words are a bunch of whiny, sanctimonious bull, so I would say that I have the advantage. Ken? Thank you. You were worth every penny, and I don't say that very often. Clearly. <clears throat> Let's do this. Well, when opportunity knocks... Well, you know what they say. Knock softly and carry a big stick. Did you ask him to come? No. Did you, Justin? Because I kind of thought you were listening when we had that whole conversation about loyalty. I was listening. And I'm very happy to report I am loyal, very loyal, to one man, Dollar Bill Spencer, the CEO of this company. I'm CEO, and you just got Not yourself. Not anymore. I'm reinstating myself. That's cute, but we both know you can't do that. Because of your little recording. Now that's cute. You really want me to go to the police? It's your choice. Mm. Go ahead. What do you... Hey, Dad. I know we have history now and everything, but you really don't want to call my bluff. Oh, I do. Oh, I, I really, really do. 
I want you to call Lieutenant Baker right now. Tell him to get over here. Because nothing would give me more pleasure than watching him chew on your ass for wasting his time. What did you do? Nothing. I've never broken a law in my life. You confessed to arson. You must have me mistaken for someone else. And I have it on tape. What's that? You wiped it. Might want to check your, your digital backup. It might be there. No? Oh. All right. What did you do? How did you do it? I'm me. And you're you. A computer nerd. But there are professionals out there even nerdier than you are. It's clever. It's... That's clever. But I hate to break it to you, even your computer nerd can't delete everything because I happen to have... Psst. This? You had to know from the moment you recorded me behind my back that I'd be working on this. It's over. Get out of my chair. Bill, what are you doing? Taking back what's mine. Taking back what he stole from me. What about all this talk of peace you promised? I thought that's what you wanted. I did, if Liam would have cooperated, but he wasn't smart enough. Allison, pick up the damn phone. Allison. Allison, pick up the phone. She doesn't answer to you. Then I'll go to security myself. They don't answer to you either. I told you I regretted what happened in Spectra. I apologized over and over again. And what did you do? Used my apology against me. Backed me into a corner. Your own father. Well, that was a stupid mistake. Standing up for what's right was not a stupid mistake. You want to stand up for truth? Great. You can do it all day long. But it doesn't come first. Neither does the law. Neither do your feelings. There's only one thing that comes first. One thing only when your last name is Spencer. Family. We are above all else loyal to one another. Like me or not, agree with me or not, I am still your father. And that should have mattered. I made a mistake and I apologized and that should have mattered as well. But it didn't because you were too power hungry to care. Or well, now you will pay. You think that matters? You think you care now? Well, something tells me you probably do. You had to know there'd be consequences. But don't you do anything foolish. Like torching the Spectra building? Yes. Except I had nothing to do with that. And there's no evidence to the contrary. But if you think your word is enough, Liam, then I suggest you call the police. Oh, nobody's calling the police, Bill. Well, why not? Where's your sense of fun? You see, that's your problem. You're Mr. No Fun. Let's call Lieutenant Baker. We'll order a bunch of hot dogs and we'll Damn have a it, little Bill, picnic. Stop it, stop it right now. Evidence or not, you know what you did and you know it was wrong. You crossed lines you shouldn't have, as did Liam. But your father and son, how did you guys forget that? Well, he's the one who wouldn't compromise. Oh, no, 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 don't do you, Bill, you started this with your obsession to ruin Spectra. And then you come in here with promises of revenge, and for what? All Liam wants is just to be proud of his family company. And you. Liam, your father wants you to thrive. He wants you to have this company someday. So let him help you. Collaborate. 
make Spencer what you dream it can be. Not because you stole it from your father, because you guys are working together. I'm not gonna let this family fall apart. You guys are gonna come together. You're gonna come together today. This company belongs to both of you. So find a way to run it together, right here, right now. Recording was not my best moment. You hit me. You deserved it. Bill? But it was a mistake. There are a lot of things I should have done differently. Reactions. But I am a man of my word. Yeah. You said you would get back at me, and I assume you still intend to. Do you have any idea how betrayed I felt? Yeah, the bruise on my face sort of gave it away. Oh, hell, Liam. I have punched more guys than I can even remember talking about after that. The anger I felt sitting in my house while you were sitting behind my desk. I wondered, how would my father get revenge if I had hurt him like that? What would he do? Disown me? Kill me? Don't look so shocked. That's a Spencer way. Eliminate your enemies. Well, you should thank your wife. Steffi has a way of calming me. She was my, my voice of reason. You might even say that she became, uh, well, you became my, my confidant, didn't you? Steffi made me realize that there's really only one thing I want. One thing. You're going to give it to me. Your forgiveness. I want my family back. I want my son back. So if you will forgive me, I will forgive you. I love you, son. I love you. I love you too, Dad.